If you try to boot up Roblox on an ARM64 Windows device, this error would pop up. Roblox encountered an unexpected error. Now, after you click on OK, or you wait a few seconds, you get yourself a memory dump. This memory dump is not very necessary. But in this video, I am going to talk about the problem for those playing on any ARM64 Windows device. Let's get to it. So if I go ahead and drag over Roblox Studio and I open it up, you can see that it loads in just fine. Of course, I don't want to forget to mention that if you do end up trying to enter full screen sometimes, Studio will crash. I believe this is just for ARM64 devices, but it's still kind of weird that Roblox is just slowly degrading on ARM64 devices. But yeah. Now you can see that my title says Roblox fails to launch on ARM64 Windows 11. And by the time I'm making this video, the bug report is still open, which means that the bug has not been fixed yet. It will probably be fixed within the next few weeks, hopefully. So basically, the problem is that when you try to boot up Roblox on your ARM64 device, you would get an error that would say, Roblox encountered an unexpected error. Click OK to create support files, then please share it on our site. I have contacted support a few days ago, and they had no clue how this problem occurred. Very dumb. But basically, this error most likely occurred because of a Roblox update that caused emulation to stop working. Now, this is a problem because on Roblox's end, they should be able to A, make a native version of Roblox for those playing on an ARM-based processor, or B, just revert the update. So, I have went ahead and deleted temp files, used a different Windows account, started Roblox on a different Roblox account, and so I went ahead and tested Wi-Fi speeds, and they were perfectly fine. But it was most likely a compatibility issue with Windows 11 slash 10 devices using an ARM-based processor. Now, as far as I was aware, and this is still true, the problem started occurring on January 22nd, which is when Roblox released their newest update. Typically, Roblox would release a new update every Wednesday. So I just wanted to throw it out there. This problem became super apparent after the update released. So I actually got the problem on the night of that day, and it was just insane. I tried to fix it up for a while, but no success. So yeah, it was a Roblox update that released that day, which caused Roblox to stop working for those playing on ARM64 devices. You were able to play Roblox beforehand through the website because the Microsoft Store version does not work. Here's the screenshot for those who don't know. So if you try to play Roblox through the Microsoft Store, which I was able to because of a bypass, Roblox would actually crash about a few seconds after launch. And it's actually probably just Microsoft that can't really get Roblox to work properly. So within the screenshot, you would see that there is an error that says this product is incompatible with your PC's processor. The reason is because the Microsoft Store version of Roblox requires an x64 architecture. So if you guys don't know, there are several different architectures. The main ones are x86, x64, and the newly recent ARM-based. So if you don't know how to check your system type, go over to Windows Settings and select System and then About, and it will tell you what system type you have. So you can see that mine is a 64-bit operating system, and it has an ARM-based processor. If yours says x64 processor, then that means you can boot up Roblox just fine. If yours says x86, I'm pretty sure you can't use Roblox anymore because it's now just x64. But if you have ARM-based, then Roblox is actually broken. Now, ARM-based could also mean for mobile devices and Macs, but those devices can support Roblox properly. Now, my processor is a Snapdragon. For those who don't know, a Snapdragon is actually a series. And the Snapdragon is actually part of Android devices as well. 
but it recently also started appearing on Windows devices, which is pretty sick in my opinion. But at the same time, they're not really supported yet. So within like a year or two from now, those devices are probably going to be even more supported than right now. So yeah. Now, Roblox Studio does work, like I said, so you can use Roblox Studio, but again, there are a few problems because of emulation, obviously. So, Crazy Blocks actually did mention something about this, but this guy actually did get the same problem, so basically the same dump would be launched, and he did make a ticket, but yeah. There was actually somewhere you could post a dump file, but... It was really hard to put it. You actually have to do it for email. It's just so dumb. Yeah, there's like no file upload that you could use through the support page. So, yeah. The reason I'm talking about this is because I have not seen a lot of people talk about it. And eventually, if ARM devices are going to be more popular in the future, then this would be a huge issue. And I know that there's going to be a lot of people who would have a laptop like this where they could play Roblox on it, but the problem would just persist. Now, as in for what Roblox is going to release this week for the client and possibly studio, I don't think they're gonna fix the issue. I know it sounds kind of silly, but normally bug reports would be fixed up pretty quickly, right? This one is one of the few where it's still open. My hope is that it closes tomorrow once Roblox does release the next update for the client. And then just be like, yep, the problem has been fixed. So at the moment right now, for those playing on ARM devices, you can't play Roblox. You can still use Studio, but unfortunately, there is actually no other way you can really play Roblox. Almost natively. So that's just unfortunate. I made this video for a reason. I wanted people to ensure that there's still hope. For those playing on arm 64 and yeah i got a laptop with an arm 64 processor i didn't actually know about it until this problem started occurring so i'm glad i was able to kind of dig in and just see what's up um, but at the same time this is something that roblox really does need to address it's just messed up i do understand that roblox is trying to tackle down onto the anti-cheat and stuff and be able to stop the exploiters from trying to bot servers and stuff but it's just outright ridiculous that they had to tackle down this. So, Roblox, I would recommend just making ARM64 version instead of just always relying on x64. Especially that the Microsoft Store version just doesn't work. It needs a lot of fixing, too. <laughs> so, yeah. With that being said, though... If you guys do play on an ARM64 device, whether that be like a laptop or something, please let me know. I want to make sure there's enough people out there who will know this and then we can get it fixed in the future. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. I am deeply sorry for what happened and I hope to be back soon, but this problem is just <laughs> dumb. All right. I hope you guys take care and stay safe. See ya, everybody.